training AI on your documents with Notebook LM. It's Google's AI product, one of their AI products, which is perfect for us for lawyers. And I'll explain how and why. Okay, first of all, what is it? It allows seamless integration to allow you to train AI with your internal documents, okay? Us lawyers, we have a shitload of documents. This is perfect for us, okay? It allows instant referencing. So it gives you context aware answers directly from your uploaded materials. Amazing. Custom precision aligns the AI with your firm's specific precedents and templates. It gives you ongoing updates. It also refreshes the AI's knowledge base as your document evolves. A lot of these documents are gonna, is gonna come from your Google Docs and Google Sheets, which is automatically you're working on it. Well, it's, giving, it's, it's able to pull in those updates, uh, which is amazing. And obviously it saves a lot of time. It cuts re research time so you can focus on the high value work. But I wanna apply this for us as lawyers. So let me kind of expand your mind about what Notebook LLM can do. It's basically a, a data synthesis for us. It allows us to unify multiple sources, combining case file, client documents, court rulings, and more into a single knowledge base. I think light bulbs should be going off right, right about now. It allows you to generate novel insights. Insights. You're able to ask it complex questions like which precedents best supports my argument or other myriad of other questions and see connections you, may, you might miss manually. Ah, getting chills. It allows you to accelerate research. It instantly summarizes key points from the positions, contracts, memoranda to save hours of reading time. What else can it do? It's adaptable for legal leads. It easily allows you to add new documents like expert reports or updated case law or whatever that is to refine and evolve your AI, uh, AI's knowledge. And it provides real world application. Think beyond simple researches, discover trends and identify risks, pinpoint opportunities hidden in your data. The world is your oyster as long as you give it your own specialized data. Okay, let's go to it. Here's the URL. I'll put the link in the chat. And then I will go into exploration mode with you. Okay, go ahead and click on the link in the chat. And what you want to do is bookmark this. Bring it, just drag. If you're on a Chrome, just take this and put it on your toolbar right here, just like that, bam. Again, for our, each of these, we want this to be accessible. And here's the home screen of Notebook LM. Do you add the opposing counsel docs? Yes, you can. <laughs> John, you can do a lot of different things. But let me share with you how I use it. And I'm also in a pretty early stages of using this for the most part. But my light bulbs have been going off the last couple of weeks. So what I've done is I've created essentially a knowledge base of different aspects of different things. So one thing that I did was, you guys know I'm a, a co-host on the Law Entrepreneur po uh, Podcasts. I think I've recorded 50 episodes so far over the last six months or so, maybe longer, who knows. Um, and there a couple of months ago, or a couple of months ago, I had to miss, I, I couldn't record in time. And I realized that I could train AI on my past show notes, and I could have AI create a podcast out of my existing podcast notes. So what I did was I fed it my notes, my podcast notes, and everything that I do, it's either on a Google Doc or a Google Sheet. So I have every episode, all the notes saved. And what I did was I added a source, and this is the part where it's applicable for you. What you wanna do is come up with one category that you wanna create a knowledge base for. The most obvious one is your own legal work, your own legal work that you're working on, whether it be demand letters or discoveries, motion summaries, whatever you want, perfect place to upload those. And let's let's review what can be uploaded. PDF, texts, markdowns, which I have no idea what the markdowns are, or audio. And cool part is you're able to upload Google Docs. Able to search for that, add it as a source. If I have a website, I could upload that. If I have a, happen to either my own website page or another website page that has, uh, uh, has information. And also even YouTube videos. I'm able to copy and paste the URL of the YouTube video that I want to reference 
or I just want to copy te uh, text. Maybe I just have my note somewhere about that. I could copy it here. But this takes up to 50 different sources of information, okay? So again, practical one, let's just say, you know, if I was, I don't do that much legal work, I would throw 20 demand letters in here. I would build up the resource in one shot, build up the resource knowledge base, throw it in here. And what that's, what that's gonna do is it's gonna train AI. So this left part is the sources section. This middle part is the chat section, which is a way for you to be able to chat with AI and ask it questions. And there's also an other assortment of things you can do with that new knowledge base. You're able to turn into uh, briefing docs, which is basically like a summary, study guides, FAQs, for the most part, that's not really, really relevant for us. Timeline will be an interesting one um, to use it for. And also for, this is pretty cool, it's able to turn the knowledge base into a podcast conversation. So let's just say, again, there's so many different ways to take this, but you just imagine the possibilities of what's possible. You build up the database and you're able to interact with it, with that database. And, and the reason, by the way, why this trumps ChatGPT is ChatGPT is for the most part, you're uploading uh, single, single files for the most part. This, but this is more like a knowledge base. Upload up to 50 files in one shot and not just upload it in one shot. It's able, because there's a Google Doc link, it's able to pull in refresh, uh, fresh data. So let's just say if you're still using the, the data on a Google Doc, it's able to pull in that fresh data that it has. Even though you updated it this morning, it's gonna have that data and you're able to interact with it. So I have one made for my podcast. I have one made for my book. I have one made for everything that knows about me. Is the, when I built out my AI agent using ChatGPT of the one that knows me, I took all that output, I turned to one page Google Doc, and it's pretty, and I throw it in there. And the other thing that I did is I went and created a PDF of my LinkedIn profile, so it has all my work history, all the things that I do, all the different law firms that I'm active on. Also, I wanted to give it more context about my work experience, so I also gave it a PDF of my LinkedIn experience section. Now there's this, this AI agent who knows everything about me. <laughs> let's see, uh, what am I, hmm, let's see. Interactive knowledge base AI experience, be able to synthesize all the different knowledge, uh, all the data and give you instant answers. This is built on Gemini's, Google's Gemini AI product. And it's actually a pretty good AI. It's pretty smart AI. Regarding, uh, Aaron, regarding your question, uh, what did I use to create the about me agent? And what type of information that I think that I could give you, I could share with you the types of things that I fed it. Here's what I fed it. Take a look at this um, this index right here. So first thing I did was I asked ChatGPT, the one that knows about me, to give me my top 50 takeaways. Yeah, uh, top 50 takeaways when it comes to my businesses and also my personal insights. So it has all that right here. Has my ideal titles, has my obstacles that prevent me from getting, it's like, it's a question that I asked ChatGPT, what are some um, obstacles that prevent me from, I think, getting to the next level, something like that. I'm also asked uh, ChatGPT five things about me that I did not realize yet. So it has that in there, it has adjectives that describe me, it has my challenges, what I'd rather be doing. That's an interesting one to probably look at. My side effects, my desired result, topics I like, my perfect role, 10 hot takes about me and some other random other stuff. I like strategy. So some strategy kind of, um, frameworks and this database of information about me, I built up over time, probably took two years of little battle. I think I started off with like adjectives that describe me. I think it was like the first thing that I fed it. And then I using chat GPT, I, I, I filled in the holes, but I said, if these adjectives describe me, what other adjectives could I be like? And then now it would give me a new set of adjectives. And then from that, I would review it and I would see, okay, these, these four don't describe me, but these six do a good job. So I, so I added that to my database. Okay. Now that you know my strengths, tell me my weaknesses. Oh, okay. These weaknesses are right. These ones are not. Okay. This is part of the new, uh, kind of the new knowledge base. And over time, I got this very thorough. This document is all, I know it sounds crazy. It's all documented about everything about me. But again, this helps me figure out my blind spots, 
Absolutely. what I should, what I should be doing, what I'd rather be doing, all that stuff. And it, that's how it's able to optimize me and optimize my schedule and optimize what I do on a daily basis.